Hey, it's Lee Hayward here from LeeHayward.com. And a question that I get asked a lot by my followers is about weightlifting belts. You know, people want to know what's the best weightlifting belt to get, what kind should they get, when should they use a weightlifting belt, and all that stuff. So that's what I'm going to cover in this video. It's all about weightlifting belts. Now, my personal favorite belt is the thick powerlifting style weightlifting belts, like this one right here. And these belts are four inches around, all the way around. And this is the kind of belt that you want to have for maximum support. You don't want to use these flimsy little bodybuilding belts that you see in most department stores and probably in most gyms. These are the flimsy little belts that a lot of people use. And the problem with these belts is they're very thin in the front and they're thick in the back. And that's actually the opposite of what you want. You want to have a belt that is thick all the way around. Because what happens when you're using a weightlifting belt is you need it thick in the front so that you can actually push your stomach against the front of the belt and thus draw it tight around your whole lower back and your core. That's what gives you support and stability. It's not all this extra padding and this, this, you know, this belt here actually has like a bubble padding in the back. You don't need all that extra padding there in the lower back. You need the support in the front where you push your stomach against it and that thus draws the belt tight all around. So I'm just going to demonstrate. I use the belt. Alright, now I want it high across my stomach, right across where my belly button is, and I want to expand my stomach. You know, pull air into your belly and thus draw the belt tight, and that will draw across the lower back, support your core right through. And that will give you support when you squat down, when you do deadlifts, uh, overhead presses, things like that. And in fact, those are the three exercises that I like to use the belt for. Uh, you know, you don't need them for like pull downs, you don't need them for bench presses or anything like that. You only need it where your back is really, I guess, in a vulnerable position and having that extra support can help. So again, heavy squats, heavy deadlifts, and overhead presses. That's where you need the belt. You really don't need it for any other exercises than those. And how you would go about using it is do all your progressively heavier warm-up sets with, without using a belt. You still want to build up your natural core strength uh, without any crutches or assistance. But when you get up to your heavy working weight, that's the time when you want to add in the belt. So let's just say, for example, that you're going to do a deadlift workout and you're going to work up to 405 pounds. I would start off all your progressively heavier warm-up sets, you know, like 135, 225, uh, do those without the belt. 315, you probably want to put the belt on. And then as you progress up, say 365 and then 405, you definitely want to have the belt on. So that's how I would go about using it. Don't use it for the warm-ups, save it for your top heavy weights, and that will give you the most bang for your buck out of using the weightlifting belt. So again, uh, hopefully that helps you out. Uh, if you want to purchase one of these belts, uh, you may be able to find them at local sporting goods stores, uh, but chances are, you know, the typical department store, sporting goods store in town will probably just have these flimsy little bodybuilding belts. Uh, so you may have to go in online, and if you do, just go search for powerlifting belts, and you'll find a lot of sites. I mean, there's a lot of sites out there that sell uh, specialized powerlifting equipment, and that's where you want to get your powerlifting belt to. So, uh, again. Hopefully that helps you out, and if you want to get some more killer tips, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, because I'm always giving away great tips like this, and I'll talk to you soon. Take care.